Hi Scorpio, getting ready to do your reading. Let's see what is going on for you. Oh wow, I've seen as I split the deck, the fool, but then the towers are behind it. So I'm, someone may be going on and trying something or starting something and it may fail, may not do. It may be a relationship that just fell out, maybe a Taurus, but a relationship. Why is a fool to me? Is this foolish? He's just arrogant or he's, you know, not really thinking things through. So it could be somebody in your life and it could be you. So make sure you're thinking things through, but usually it's a major thing someone's doing. Hi, Coco. You have to come sit with us. So you hear me talking? All right. Let me sit there. You know what I feel like? I feel like somebody is dating somebody and they don't realize they're a gold digger. This could be you or it could be like your ex or something. Like they don't want to see the real reason that they're with them with the Eight of Swords right there. No lovers. <clears throat> no judgment. High Priestess and the Hangman. Somebody is seeing something that they did not want to see before. But now it could also be going to read this differently because if there's something that you didn't notice or see about someone or a situation with the Eight of Swords, your intuition, Spirit's trying to show you. You're being helped or guided. So because he's seeing something differently. So the lovers, Eight of Swords, Ace of Coins, something new, judgment. Yeah, something is not, oh my goodness. Something is not as it seems. It's it's not what it looks like. It's something's hidden. What is going on here? Five of Wands. With the sun and the two of coins. Okay, but notice this row. Something is being revealed and it's like going to be come out in the open with the sun. This row right here it could be a Gemini involved. But someone is arguing. What's coming in is there's a lot of arguing. You might somehow be in the middle of this because the middle row. It could be a Leo or Pisces involved. But there's something here with the ace of coin. Like it's like they have to split it now or they, they're seeing that. Look at what's under the deck too, the moon. Something's being revealed about a situation. Again, you may not have anything to do with this, but, um, and some of you, I, I'm gonna say this, you may be telling someone or thinking, I told you so with this right here. I knew that was gonna happen, um, or something like that. What is this two of coins? What is this two of coins? Making a decision. Someone's really confused. Now, this could also be the other person who's really happy because they feel like they're getting away from away with something. I'm getting somebody may. What is this sun? What is this sun? Chariot taking off. Wow. It kind of feels like somebody may like clean out someone's bank account and then take off, or somebody got away with something and someone is left behind feeling confused. What is the Seven of Cups? What is the Seven of Cups? The moon, see that? It's like someone's confused. You're like, okay, well, wait a minute. This wasn't what I thought. Somebody was hiding something. Eight of Swords, please. Some, but somebody, Justice, okay. I was just thinking that, or they were telling me that somebody didn't want to see the truth. Someone didn't want to see what was going on. And Justice is like karma, and karma is, you know, just what comes around from actions. Actions create karma. That's all it is, it's what, what someone did. And so somebody chose not to see something or not to take action. It's like someone who married somebody and they knew they didn't love them. And then when they just found out like, that's all they want is the money, they're kind of like sh like acting surprised, but they, they knew it. I feel like someone's going to clean out someone's bank account. I hate to say these kind of readings, but I feel like someone did not get a prenup or they just, they weren't careful. What is this five of wands? What are they arguing about? The 10 of cups. Yeah, the family, the situation, the marriage. Um, somebody was only in it for themselves. I feel actually kind of bad when this kind of things happens. Unless unless it's karma, the first person it's happening to, but it's still. Um, you know, for someone, the person whoever is doing this, like who wiped out the bank account or who does something like that, they will have karma down the way. They will get it. But... Uh, and the person who was blindly going into this could be like an ex of yours or something and maybe they're coming back to you or something, not to get together, but maybe you're gonna hear about this or see this or maybe they need help or something like that. But I'm seeing like somebody is excited. 
here they took the money and they're going to run they're going to leave um and someone's left holding the bag here like they don't understand what happened but it's so interesting with justice because someone covered up for someone and it was like they didn't want to see what is justice please nine of cups yeah Nine of Cups, as you guys know, look at, they were just spending the money, wasting the money, the six of coins under the deck, buying the drinks, um, paying for things. And you know, when I read the Nine of Cups, is it's not really to me a love card. It's a card about eating, drinking, sex, having a really good time. Someone um, could be using another person, but the Nine of Cups isn't like true love. It's like that someone doesn't want to see the truth. They didn't want to see the truth. And they married this person, and now there could be a custody battle. There could be arguing. Five of Wands over the assets, but someone is just bailing. So I'm not sure what's showing up in your reading today, unless, um, I don't think this is happening to you. It could though, but um, you would know. But I just feel like this is, someone is looking and waiting, seven of coins. Now you are under the deck right now. Page of coin, out of cups, working, ace of wands. I feel like it's someone who pushed you away initially, like back in the time, seven of wands here. But now you have moved on, you've done well, you've grown. And now I feel like people are coming to you for help. Page of coin and the Knight of cups, see that? So just be careful, because I think it's the person who lost everything. It's not the other person. The person who lost everything may be coming towards you. Moon, Knight of coins, seven of swords, and the six of cups. Something's clicking for somebody. Something, they're starting to put all the pieces together is what I'm getting. There is an offer that was deceptive in the past. Now, somehow, Scorpio, you must be a part of this or tied into this in some way. I'm not saying you did anything. I'm just saying you know who this is. Um, also, some of you, though, with the, okay, now with the High Priestess being in the center of the reading, you may have had a premonition about this before it happened. You may have warned this person. Um, you may have seen this coming and um, so they they may be coming to you to ask for answers or like, do, how did you see this or maybe you do readings or something like that maybe they want some sort of also help from you but um, hmm what is the High Priestess? Why is Scorpio being involved in this? What is the High Priestess? Because they are coming towards you. That was under the deck when I pulled these three cards. Under there right now is the Three of Coins. So it's kind of like somebody wants to recoup something with you. Maybe they want to try to like work together with you in some way. Um, they're left holding the bag, which is half empty or empty all the way. But now they want to come back to you. Because I'm seeing somebody who is saying Scorpio was right. Scorpio knew. And now they want to come back to you. But you told someone that they were a player or you said that person's a player, that person's lying to you, that person's only in it for the money and they didn't want to see it. Someone did not want to see the truth. So I think you're trying to help this person, but that's not how, you know, they didn't want to hear it. Knight of Wands, the Knight, yeah, they may have pushed you away, the Nine of Coins, Ace of Wands. I think this is also because this was under the deck as your energy, I felt. Nine of Wands is kind of a blocking thing. So you need to be prepared for this person. Nine Wands plus the Ace of Wands to me is 10 Wands. So now we have drama or a struggle or something that could end up on your doorstep if you allow. So this is just a heads up. Um, this person, again, might not tell you the full truth, though, because of this energy here. Um, Seven of Swords. But you'll know. Three of Cups. Yeah, there, and maybe there was a third party or something involved as well. What is the Three of Cups or Gossip? But what is the Three of Cups? Yeah. Tower. Wow. Okay, you're under the deck again, so let's see what's behind. Yep, so that same energy's back there. Someone wants to come talk to you. They want to work on something with you. They have only a page of coin to offer you, but they're coming in as a knight. So I'm not saying they love you, because I, I don't know if they love you, but they're coming in with a cup and like, they want to get back together after everything that fell apart and after I think you warned them and you and they didn't want to see the truth and now they want to come back around. So it's almost like this person who came in and used them maybe had someone else helping them or they were already in another relationship or something. Something happened to this person. It's, I mean, 
This is a crazy reading. Um, this, ha this stuff happens all the time. What is Scorpio? Because there, that's, there's that energy. Yep, it's coming to you now. So Spirit wants you, you to have a heads up. This person's coming back towards you. And um, you need to know what, what went down. Messages first coming in, the devil. I would not get involved with the situation again. I think, you know what, four of cups, look at you don't want the cup. You know why? Because I feel like a lot of Scorpios, you will have like a sympathy for this person or you would, you know, um, you don't want to hurt someone. You want to be kind or loving or whatever. Spirit's saying, don't worry about it. It's not your problem. Okay. Heads up. This is coming back towards you. I feel like this person was mean to you at one time as well. I think we saw that in the deck, right? They pushed you away at a time and you grew, you grew stronger. You moved on. And I feel like this person hasn't done any growth. They haven't done any spiritual work. And But they want to come back to kind of come enjoy your light and your energy but i'm seeing that would be a bad idea you don't need their karma they need to work on it themselves so heads up scorpio the person's coming back around so i'm gonna leave it there you guys have a great week